every year I do this video again and then I question why I'm doing it to myself. <laughs> hey friends, how are we all doing? Today we are talking through every book that is on my physical TBR and I have over 200. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Megan? That behaviour's unacceptable. I don't like it. I just got them all out and sorted them into their genres. My God, it took like an hour. <laughs> it's crazy. So yeah, I'm gonna show you every single book that's on my physical TBR. I'm just gonna hold the book up and say the author and the title. But the idea of this video is A, it's to show you guys, I always love watching these videos, like having all knows what's ever on everyone's TBR, because for me, I've always got in my head pretty much a running list of most of these books. Like, I'm none of these books surprised me. I knew they were all on my TBR, but you guys don't know that. You guys don't know what's on my TBR, and I feel like it's a crucial piece of information that we lack. <laughs> I feel like I should do this at the start of every video, just like tell you all the books from my TBR. So I've separated them into genres, and the idea of this video is for future videos and for stuff with TBR Cluedo, I need you guys to let me know down below the books you loved from this list, and hated is a strong word, but let's say the books you didn't like <laughs> from this list, because that helps me make future content, it helps me in some TBR Cluedo prompts, preferably put them in different comments, so that way it's easier for me to sort through. But we're just gonna get into it, so tell me all the books you loved, Tell me all the books you didn't like, and this is separated by genre. Now there's a lot of books on my TBR, because I do like this in books, that transcend genre. <laughs> that maybe are a historical mystery, or a speculative romance, or whatever, you know? But I've tried to put them in what I think is their primary genre. Like, it's historical, if it's a historical mystery, I would tend to put that in mystery, because I feel like historical can be, it's easier to put as a subgenre. Do you get what I mean? I don't know. I don't know if that makes any sense. But I'm a bit daunted for how long this is going to take me to film. These videos always qu end up being quick for you because it's all the moving about and shit that takes the time. But let's get into it. Every single book on my TBR that's hoping that the number up here for you kind of matches up the number on my Goodreads own shelf. There's always one or two that are a bit off. <laughs> yeah. Should we just get into it? Let's get into it. It's a lot of fantasies. And when I feel the fantasy, it is my reality. First in fantasy, we have got The 10,000 Doors of January by Alex E. Harrow, Blood Like Magic by Lazelle Sambri, God Killer by Hannah Kinnear, The Gilded Walls by Roshani Chotsky, The Stardust Thief by Chelsea Abdullah, Darling Girl by Liz Mikowski. If I'm honest, if there was any book I forgot that was on my TBI, it was probably this book. I was like, oh, <laughs> Peter Pan retelling, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Thistlefoot by Jenna Rose Nevercott, The Keeper of Night by Kylie Lee Baker, The Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo, Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim, Keeper of Enchanted Rooms by Charlie N. Holmberg, The Shadow Cabinet by Juno Dawson, This Vicious Grace by Emily Thiet, Wolf Song by TJ Clune, The Will of the Many by James Islington, Tress of the Emerald Sea by Brandon Sanderson, The Testaments by Margaret Atwood, The Wolf and the Woodsman by Ava Reed, Unraveler by Francis Hart. Harding, A Lats Away by Darcy Little Badger, Bookshops and Bone Dust by Travis Baldry, Starling House by Alex E. Harrow, Strange Grace by Tessa Gratton, The Young Elites by Marie Lu, A Psalm of Storms and Silence by Roseanne A. Brown, Nettle and Bone by T. Kingfisher, The Mirror Season by Alan Marie McCamore, Siren Queen by Nevo, The Glass Witch by Lindsay Puckett, Amari and the Great Game by B.B. Alston, The Lie Tree by Frances Harding, Dark and Shallow Lies by Ginny Myers Sane, The Cat Who Saved Birds Books by Suzuki Natsukawa, The Odds by Lindsay Puckett, Split Tooth by Tanya Tagak, The Chosen and the Beautiful by Nevo, Deep Light by Frances Harding, The Bright and the Pale by Jessica Rubinowski, Star Daughter by Shreta Thakkar, Within These Wicked Walls by Lauren Blackwood, A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas. <laughs> This is like half of my TBR. Like, I don't want to unhaul it because I might have to read it one day, but like, do I have any desire to read it anymore? No. <laughs> I just don't want to unhaul it in case I have to read it for another video one day and then I have to repurchase it. I don't know which one's second and which one's third, but I've got Days of Blood and Starlight and Dreams of God and Monsters by Lainey Taylor, A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab, The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon, Caraval by Stephanie Garber, Mrs. Death, Mrs. Death by Selena Godden, Nevermore the Trials of Morrigan Crow by Jessica Townsend, Ariadne by Jennifer Saint, The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, Royal Assassin by Robin Hobb, Uprooted by Naomi Novik, Before We Say Goodbye by Tosh 
Kazu Kawaguchi, Pages and Co. Tilly and the Lost Fairy Tales by Anna James, The Obelisk Gate and the Stone Sky by N.K. Jemison, This Dark Descent by Kaylin Josephson, One Dark Window by Rachel Gillick, The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axie O, Only a Monster by Vanessa Len, She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan, Jade Fire Gold by June C.L. Tan, and Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. That is all the fantasy on my TBR. By far the biggest genre. <laughs> Let's get into the next biggest genre, which is probably mystery. Wait a minute. I'm figuring this out. I'm like Scooby and Shaggy. I'm solving a mystery. First we have Pride and Premeditation by Terza Price. Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeline Booley. The Enigma of Room 622 by Joel Dicker. The Skeleton Key by Erin Kelly. None of This Is True by Lisa Jewell. Ercu Poirot's Christmas by Agatha Christie. The Adventure of the Christmas Pudding by Agatha Christie. 450 from Paddington by Agatha Christie. And The ABC Murders by Agatha Christie. The Verifiers by Jane Peck. Apples Never Fall by Leanne Moriarty. Breathless by Amy McCulloch. What Lies in the Woods by Kate Alice Marshall. Dark Corners by Megan Golding. Age of Vice by Deepti Kapoor. Marple and Anthology. The Cat Who Caught a Killer by L.T. Shearer. The Key in the Lock by Beth Under down. Before You Knew My Name by Jacqueline Bublitz. Dangerous Women by Hope Adams. The Jeweled Moth by Catherine Woodfine. A Spoonful of Murder by J.M. Hall. Murder Most Unladylike by Robin Stevens. The Winds Are Not by S.J. Bennett. Vera Wong's Unsolicited Advice for Murderers by Jesse Santanto. A Curious Beginning by Deanna Rayborn. The Mansfield Park Murder and The Man in Black by Lynn Shepard. The Christmas Guest by Peter Swanson. Death on the Lusitania by R.L. Graham. The Christmas Appeal by Janice Hallett. The the Murders at Fleet House by Lucinda Riley. The Cousins by Karen M. McManus. The Headmaster's List by Melissa De La Cruz. Finley Donovan Knocks Him Dead by El Cosimano. The Floating Admiral by The Detection Club. Aggie Morton Mystery Queen by Martha Jocelyn. The Very Merry Murder Club an Anthology. Night Film by Marisha Pessel. Eight Detectives by Alex Pavesi. The Monogram Murders by Sophie Hanna. The Village of Eight Graves and Death on Gokumin Island by Sashi Yokomizo. Murder Before Evensong and Death in the Parish by Reverend Richard Coles. The Last Devil to Die by Richard Osman. I Have Some Questions To by Rebecca Mackay. The Only One Left by Riley Sager. And Just Another Missing Person by Gillian McAllister. That is all our mysteries. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm putting all the books on my bed for what is maybe going to be the thumbnail. I don't know if the thumbnail is going to work or not. But that's a lot of books just for those two categories. <laughs> We've got a hell of a lot to go. What's my next biggest one? Maybe historical? Let's do historical next. Do you think you could like look straight into the webcam and say Dua Lipa is the greatest pop star in history for me, please. I would never say that. We have got The Night Ship by Jess Kidd, Cloud Cuckoo Land by Anthony Doer, The Other Side of Mrs. Wood by Lucy Barker, The Essex Serpent by Sarah Perry, The Fountains of Silence by Ruta Sepetis, Take My Hand by Deline Perkins Valdez, Escaping from Houdini by Kerry Maniscalco, Harlem Shuffle by Colson Whitehead, Black Cake by Shemaine Wilkerson, Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood, The Silver Sword by Ian Sorellier, Jane Still by Lindsay Fay, The Dance Tree by Kieran Millwood Hargrave, Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier, People of Abandoned Character by Claire Whitfield, So Many Beginnings by Bethany C. Morrow, The Lincoln Highway by Amor Towles, Don't Cry For Me by Daniel Black, The Good Left Undone by Adriana Trigani, Lovely War by Julie Berry. Okay, and then we've got my classics. I think there were a few classics mixed in with that lot, but these are my like main stack of classics. Uh, we've got The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Arthur Conan Doyle, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, Villette by Charlotte Bronte, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll, Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, No Surrender by Constance Maud, and Sanderton, Pride and Prejudice, and Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. Okay, let's do nonfiction next because I have quite a lot of nonfiction. If you didn't, it wasn't something to be liked. It was something to be understood from an academic perspective. Well, they... Obviously, you're not an academic. No. We have got The Keys to Kindness by Claudia Hammond. This one was difficult to categorise. This is Poetry Unbound, 50 Poems to Open Your World by Pedreg Otwama. This is a collection of 50 poems, like it says, but each poem comes with, like, a, an analysis of the poetry, so I put it in nonfiction. In Defence of Witches, Why Women Are Still on Trial by Mona Shalott. Essex Girls by Sarah Perry. Not That Bad, an anthology edited by Roxane Gay. 
Day, The Adventures of Maud West, Lady Detective by Susanna Stapleton, The Radium Girls by Kate Moore, Know My Name by Chanel Miller, Save the Cat Writes a Novel by Jessica Brody, Down and Out in Paris and London by George Orwell, Heart of the Race, Black Women's Lives in Britain by Beverly Bryan, Stella Dadsey and Susan Scaff. Oh my god, a piece of fluff just flew right into my eye. I like saw it coming as I was talking. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I could like, I was reading the names and I could see it coming in. <laughs> The New Jim Crow by Michelle Alexander. Feminists Don't Wear Pink and Other Lies, an anthology edited by Scarlett Curtis. Murder Isn't Easy, The Forensics of Agatha Christie by Carla Valentine. Reach for the Stars by Michael Craig. Agatha Christie, A Very Elusive Woman by Lucy Worsley. Undoctored by Adam Kay. London, A Guide for Curious Wanderers by Jack Cheshire. Harlots, Whores and Hackabouts by Kate Lister. The Tree of Yoga by BKS Iyengar. Tell Me Everything, The Story of a Private Investigation by Erica Krauss. Bittersweet, How Sorry and Logging Make Us Whole by Susan Cain. Myrtle Volume 1 and 2 by G.T. Carber. In the Dream House by Carmen Maria Machado. Bad Gays, A Homosexual History by Hugh Lemmy and Ben Miller. Haven't She Heard, Gossip, Power and How Politics Really Works by Marie Leconte. Forgotten Women, The Scientist and The Artist by Zing Sing. Somebody's Daughter by Ashley C. Ford. Bookshop Tours of Britain by Louise Boland. Biased, The New Science of Race and Inequality by Jennifer Eberhardt. And The Light We Carry by Michelle Obama. Guys, we're getting there. <laughs> we're getting there. We've only got some of the smaller genres left now. Let's do thriller next. I have quite a lot of thrillers. I like drama. Drama drives me at times. I think without drama, what's the fun in life? We have got Never Saw Me Coming by Vera Korean, The Retreat by Sarah Pierce, The Long Weekend by Jilly McMillan, Death of a Bookseller by Alice Slater, The Last Word by Taylor Adams, Zero Days by Ruth Ware, The Collective by Alison Galen, Things We Do in the Dark by Jennifer Hillier, Like a Sister by Kelly Garrett, The Lies I Tell by Julie Clark, Everything We Didn't Say by Nicole Bart, A Slow Fire Burning by Paula Hawkins, Nine Elms by Robert Bryzender, The Night She Disappeared by Lisa Jewell, the Escape Room by Megan Golden. The Dinner Guest by B.P. Miller. When the Stars Go Dark by Paula McCain. The Wife Between Us by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. How to Kill Your Family by Bella Mackey. Bright Young Women by Jessica Knoll. The Whisper Man by Alex North. How to Kill Men and Get Away With It by Katie Brent. Other People's Clothes by Kala Henkel. And Stay Awake by Megan Golden. What next? We're down to the last few genres. Let's go into contemporary next. I love my family. I love my work. I love my life. We have got What Mama Left Me by Renee Watson. We Were Liars and Family of Liars by E. Lockhart. This One Summer by Gillian Tamaki and Mariko Tamaki. Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas. Tiny Pretty Things by Sonia Cherry Protra and Danielle Clayton. Shine by Jessica Young. As Long as the Lemon Trees Grow by Zulfa Katu. My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. A Little Hope by Ethan Joella. True Beers by Sarah Novick. Girl, Woman, Other by Bernadine Evaristo. Some Girls Are by Courtney Summers. Promise Boys by Nick Brooks. Throwback by Maureen Goo. Days at the Morisaki Bookshop by Satoshi Yagasawa. The Kamigawa Food Detectors by Hizashi Kashiwai. Moxie by Jennifer Matthew. Mirror Mirror by Cara Delevingne. <laughs> Rise to the Sun by Leah Johnson. And Tyler Johnson, is this the last one for contemporary? Yeah. <laughs> and Tyler Johnson was here. Let's get into romance next. He wants to marry me. <laughs> We have got After Love by Tanya Byrne, Maybe in Another Life by Taylor Jenkins Reid, White Out by Danielle Clayton, Tiffany D. Jackson, Nick Stone, Angie Thomas, Ashley Woodfolk and Nicola Yoon, Someone in Time, an anthology, The Coldest Touch by Isabel Sterling, Only on the Weekends by Dean Atta, The Lesbiana's Guide to Catholic School by Sonora Race, Spoiler Alert by Olivia Dade, A Witch's Guide to Fake Dating a Demon by Sarah Hawley, Ophelia After All by Raquel Marie, Love in the Time of Serial Killers by Alicia Thompson, Honey and Spice by Bolly Babalola. The X Hex by Erin Sterling. Love Theoretically by Ali Hazelwood. And Dating Dr. Deal by Nisha Sharma. Okay, we only have two genres left. That's four. We only have two genres left. And they're both genres I read a lot of, but I almost have none on my TBR because I think I'd get through them quite quickly. So let's get into horror next. What was that? It was scary. It, it was scary. It was really scary. We have got The Luminous Dead by Caitlin Starling, The Lake House by Sarah Beth Durst, And the Trees Crept In by Dawn Kurtigich, Plain Bad Heroines by Emily M. Danforth, The Changing Man by Tommy Omayakundi, 
When Ghosts Call Us Home by Katja Dibakera, How to Sell a Haunted House by Grady Hendrix, Hashtag No Escape by Gretchen McNeil, and White Horse by Erica T. Worth. And then our final genre is sci-fi, and I have three <laughs> on my TBR. Gas levels indicate that your anus is burning. Granted, there's a few others on this list that are borderline, like someone in time, for example, I put in romance, but it's like time travel romance stories. So there's other ones that are, are borderline. But the three pure sci-fis I have are Upgrade by Blake Crouch, Sea of Tranquility by Emily St. John Mandel, and Until the Last of Me by Sylvain Novell. There we have it. That is all of the books on my physical TBR. <laughs> I can't believe it. That was a lot of books. That's a lot, a lot of books. But I always love doing this video because it always reminds me of all the books on my TBR and gets me excited about a lot of them. I think there's something about like picking a book up and looking at it. It reminds me why I wanted to read it. So I'm feeling a bit like invigorated reading wise. <laughs> also, there was a few of them I picked up and like didn't feel anything. So Marie Kondo would tell me to like get that out of my life. But that's just not with the way I roll, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> Most of these I picked up and was excited by, but there were a few I was like, huh. You've been on here quite a while. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, let me know down in the comments which of these you have read and loved and which of these you have read and didn't like or hated. Maybe you hated some of them. <laughs> Please let me know that down below. Let me know all your thoughts and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye.